And we bring you back live now to the Hilton in Las Vegas, where coming up, World Championship Boxing on HBO Sports. Undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson defending the title against number one contender Frank Bruno of England in a fight scheduled for 12 rounds. One update. Several days have passed since our narration of the Mike Tyson then and now piece. During that period of time, Kevin Rooney filed a breach of contract suit against Mike Tyson. Tyson responded by saying that there was now no chance that Rooney would ever again return as his trainer. Kevin Rooney joins us now live via satellite from Schenectady, New York, to talk to our Larry Merchant. Larry. Kevin, thank you for joining us. Kevin, what is your response to Mike's statement that it's all over between you now because of the lawsuit? Were you precipitous in filing that lawsuit? You know, I filed the lawsuit because, uh, I, you know, I was left in the dark. No one spoke to me. I, I have a contract. I have a contract. It, uh, it almost know, sounds like there's an alienation of affection between you and that that's what bothers you. Well, definitely. He's like a brother to me. He's my younger brother. Jay was like a brother to me. They're both out there. Jay goes out there and says he's doing it for cars. I'm doing it for cars. These guys throw cars to Miles' name around. Uh, you know, like, it's, and they don't live up to what Cus really meant. Jay Bright, of course, is the young man who's going to be in the corner tonight. Before we get to him, you made almost two million dollars off the Tyson Spinks fight. By far the largest amount of money a trainer has ever made. Do you have any regrets about standing up so firmly for Bill Caton in his dispute with Tyson, which led I, to your I, I, separation? You know, I didn't, it's not, it's not a question that I stood up for Bill Caton. I stood up for what was right, for, for what Cuss had started. I, no, one, no one showed me that Bill Caton did anything wrong. He's not the most personal guy in the world. He's a, he's a very good businessman. And, and I, I felt that he could be trusted. I wasn't sticking up for Bill Caton. I was sticking up for Mike Tyson all the time, all the shows that went on, talking in Mike's favor, talking against the women talking if Mike was going to get back with the women that's okay that's what got me in trouble that and the fact that I said stay with Bill Caton you have three years to go on a contract do the right thing be a man and just do the contract you don't got to like the guy call all the shots speak to Caton what you're doing with King you could be doing with Caton you, you can tell Caton what you want done Kevin and it, can Jay Bright handle the corner if a crisis emerges tonight well, I, I, that remains to be seen, but I, I think he'll be able to handle it. Whether or not he has a crisis situation or not, I, I don't think so. I think that Mike, Mike is not going to forget everything that Cuss taught him and what I've been helping to keep teaching. Jay's been around Cuss, and he's been around me. He's been in my gym, and he was helping me in my gym. So I don't think Jay's an actor, and I think Jay can put on his acting hat and, and handle it, but I don't think there'll be a, a tough crisis. I, I, I hope not. I'm rooting for Mike Tyson. I'd be shocked if, if Bruno beat Mike. I won't, be, I won't be shocked if the fight is more difficult than people think it's going to be. Thank you so much, Kevin Rooney.